right YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So this is a bit of a follow on, that's the next job on from the, the last cabin private roof I did. Um, first of all, I'd like to say a massive thank you to uh, all my subscribers. I've finally breached the 2000 subscribers mark, which is a massive milestone for me and I'm, I'm chuffed to bits. So uh, thanks for everyone who's been following. So um, as I seem to find that people like to see the cabin fire videos, I've got a small job on here and I thought I'd vlog this one as well. So what we're on with is a, it's a very, very old mold from my, um, it's from a long time ago this is, but this is for a carbon fiber dash blanking panel for where your instrumentation goes. So you'd have your, your taco, your speedo, uh, and your temperature gauge. This is to remove all that and you can put this panel in its place, which will allow you to then fit whatever you want onto it, whether you can use like say an aftermarket, speedo, taco, this that, and the other, or just leave it blank and have a digi dash on your steering column this part will allow you to do that so it's a very very simple part i'm not going to talk through it again i'll just do a nice little quick video showing you how i make it and how it looks at the end so let's get going
Okay, so that's the part done. Trimmed it all up, giving it a nice little polish. Absolutely rock solid. This is destined for Germany, this part. But um, yeah, this is good for the for any race cars running a digi dash or aftermarket uh, instrumentation. You can just bolt it, or so you can just drill the holes here, put your gauges in, or mount your digi dash, or even just have it as a trim if you're running a column mounted digi dash. But yes, yeah, it's, um, it's the exact same principle. No matter what part you make, the process is exactly the same. The only difference is it can be bigger or smaller, so you have a different strategy with the infusion. But the steps are the same. But uh, yeah, nice quick little video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.